good morning friends in this video let we discuss the one of the concept is sex determination sex is an aggregate of those morphological physiological and behavioral qualities that differentiates an organism producing the egg cell from those organisms producing of a sperm cell here the sexually reproducing organisms are differentiated into the two types one is called as the unisexual organisms another one is called as the bisexual organisms sexually reproducing organisms are differentiated into the unisexual and bisexual the unisexual organisms even also known as the gonochoric organisms gonochoric or even also known as the it is in a dioecious organisms dioecious organisms this bisexual organisms also known as the hermaphrodite hermaphrodite and even also known as it is in a monoecious organisms here yeah. when you observe in the unisexual organisms in these organisms the individual produces the only any one of the type of the gonads or primary sex organs if the individual develops the male gonad such a organism is called as the, the male the male produces the male gamete is called as the sperm cells if the individual develops the female gonads such a organism is called as the females they produces the the female gamete is called as the egg cell that means both the male is totally different from the females based on the morphological physiological and behavioral qualities when we want to read the bisexual organisms the single individual having the both male and female gonads such a organisms is called as the hermaphrodites or even also known as the it is a monoecious this means observe here sex determination is the process of development of the primary sex organs in the individuals is called as the sex determination what is the primary sex organs that is the gonads in males the testes in females the ovaries are the gonads or primary sex organs the process of development of primary sex organs or gonads in the individual is called as the sex determination or even also known as one more definition the establishment of maleness or femaleness in the individuals is called as the sex determination here when the development of the primary sex organs we determine the males or the females during the developmental stages of the organisms they develop the secondary sexual characters such a development of these secondary sexual characters is called sexual differentiation sexual differentiation here when we want to the the basis of sex determination basis of sex determination the basis of the sex determination there are different methods of the sex determination the basis of sex determination there are the different methods of sex determination one is called as the environmental sex determination environmental sex determination second one is the non allosomal sex determination non allosomal sex determination third one is the chromosomal or even also known as 
allosomal sex determination okay. here the non allosomal sex determination also known as autosomal sex determination the first one is the environmental sex determination in this method this is the non genetic sex determination non genetic sex determination purely based on the environmental factors the individual is a bisexual the potentially develops the any one of the type of the sex organs that means they have the capacity to produce the any one of the type of the sex organs here in environmental sex determination the marine organism the marine organism bonilia viridis bonilia viridis commonly known as the green spoon worm green spoon worm such a organism produces the larva is morphologically and genetically and even cytologically similar where during the developmental stages the larva attaches to the proboscis of the female such a the larva develops into a male individuals those larva they cannot attaches to the proboscis of the female they develops into a the female individuals these bonilia which acts as a parasitic organisms commonly present in the uterus of a female uterus of a female and the marine molluscans organisms cripidula in the marine molluscans organism the cripidula reported that it is similar to like that of the bonilia viride if you observe in the crocodile and ye gamma the temperature induces the the sex of the individual the high temperature induces the the maleness the low temperature induces the femaleness here in the turtle turtle depending upon the incubation temperature to the the eggs of the turtle they decides the the sex of the individual here when the eggs are incubated the eggs are incubated more than the 33 degree celsius temperature the aromatase enzyme aromatase enzyme is secreted such a enzyme they induce the femaleness in the developing of the individuals if the incubation temperature to the all these eggs less than the 28 degree celsius the aromatase enzyme is not synthesizing results in the the male sex hormones are secreting hence it will develops into a the male suppose if the incubation temperature in between these two that is more than the 28 degree celsius and below the 33 degree celsius the all the egg cells equally develops into the the males and the female individuals that means the temperature it will decides the the sex of the individuals when move on to the the non allosomal or it is an autosomal sex determination in such a type of the sex determination 
the allosomes or the sex chromosomes or ideosomes are totally absent only presence of the autosomes here in such a type of the sex determination commonly observed in the lower organisms here depending upon the genes it will decides the sex of the individual depending upon the genes decides the sex of the individual usually the f factor f factor means fertility factors present on the plasmid plasmid these fertility factors decides the sex of an individual if you observe in the chlamydomonas in the chlamydomonas depend only single gene is present in such a organisms depending upon the presence or absence of the genes in the chlamydomonas they decides the sex of an individual in the maize in maize the two genes are present one gene induces the development of the male inflorescence the another gene induces the development of the female inflorescence that is the out of the two genes one gene responsible for the maleness the another gene responsible for the the femaleness that means the genes here the controlling of the sex of an individual that is a it is a non allosomal or it is a autosomal sex determination that means the genes fertility factors decides the sex of an individual third one is the chromosomal or allosomal sex determination this type of the sex determination the allosomes or the sex chromosomes decides the sex of an individual the allosomes are the sex chromosomes they decides the sex of an individuals this type of the sex determination was first time identified by the arman arkin sorry arman elkin arman elkin while studying of the spermatogenesis in fibocoris or in a squash bug fibocoris or in a squash bug while studying of the spermatogenesis 50% of the spermatozoas that means the sperms containing of a one extra chromosome such a the sperms contain the nuclear content is totally different when compared to the remaining 50% of the sperms containing of a chromosomal structure that is nuclear content i will repeat once again chromosomal sex determination in this type of the sex determination the autosomes or allosomes or sex chromosomes decides the sex of an individual this type of sex determination was being noticed by the scientist arman elkin while studying of the spermatogenesis in the fibocoris or in a squash bug during the studying of the spermatogenesis 50% of the spermatozoa containing of a one extra chromosome in such a the spermatozoa the containing of the nuclear content is totally different when compared to the the sperms does not contain the one extra chromosome those sperms contain the one extra chromosomes these are call it as the x body they call it as the x body remaining the 50% of the sperms 
they cannot contain of the such a X chromosomes. These are called as the Y chromosomes. This the Y chromosomes was identified by the Nettle Steven. Nettle Steven they identified the, the Y chromosomes. Okay. In humans and other species, basically there are the two types of the chromosomes are present. One is called as a it is an autosomes, another one is called as a it is an allosomes. This allosomes also known as a it is a sex chromosomes or even also known as a ideosomes. Ideosomes. Here, when you observe in the autosomes, these are the chromosomes cannot involved in the determination of the sex. That is a deciding factor of the sex. These chromosomes contains the only the genes which determines the, the somatic characters of an organism. Suppose example, in humans, out of the 46 chromosomes, there are the 44 autosomes are present. Out of the 46, 44 are the autosomes. Then allosomes. The allosomes are the chromosomes which is responsible for the sex determination in the unisexual or dioecious organisms called as the allosomes or ideosomes. For example, human, in human beings, out of the 46 chromosomes, only two chromosomes are the allosomes or the sex chromosomes. In the males, the presence of a the Y chromosome. In the females, the presence of a X chromosome. Here, in the males, they can produce the male gamete that is called as the sperm cell. In females, they have produces the female gametes that is called as the it is an egg cell. Then come to the the types of the types of the sex determination. Which one is the types of the sex determination? Here the sex determinations are differentiated into the following types XX and XY type of the sex determination. Another one is the XX and X0 type of the sex determination. Another one is the ZW and ZZ type of the ZZ type of the sex determination. These are the three types of the sex determination. Here, the first one is the XX and XY type of the sex determination. This type of the sex determination is commonly observed in the mammals, including the human beings, the insects like Drosophila melanogaster, Drosophila melanogaster, and in plants called as the Melandrium album. Melandrium album. In such plants also, we can observe the XX and XY type of the sex determination. In this type of the sex determination, the presence of a the autosomes plus autosomes plus XX or XY type of the sex determination. That means the 50% of the sperm cells containing of the X chromosomes remaining 50% of the X cells sorry remaining 50% of the sperm cells containing of the Y chromosomes here the sex chromosomes are it is the heterogametic conditions in the males Observe here. Suppose if you observe in the human beings, there are the presence of the 46 chromosomes are present. 
out of the 46 chromosomes 44 autosomes are present and two allosomes are present in males presence of a xy pattern in females presence of a xx pattern if you observe in the males the males are heterogametic condition generally they may ask for the one more question what is heterogamity observe here in the males the chromosomal complement is autosomes plus x chromosome and autosomes plus y chromosome because of the males are heterogametic condition the females are chromosomal complement is autosomes plus x chromosome only because of the females are homogametic condition yeah the sex of the offspring is decided at the time of the fertilization if the sperm carrying of the x chromosome fertilizes with the x cell the autosome plus xx pattern is developed that is the development of female individual if the sperm carrying of the y chromosome fertilizes with the x cell the establishment of the, the male individual because of autosomes plus xy chromosome here the deciding factor is the males depends on the type of the sperm fertilizers with the x cell okay this is called as the which is xx and xy type of the sex determination when come to the, the next one is called as the xx and x0 type of the the sex determination this xx and x0 type of the sex determination was first time explained by the c mac clun c mac clun is reported in the the grasshopper reported in grasshopper and even the such a xx and x0 type of the sex determination even also studied in the, the true bug true bugs and even in a round worms round worms and even in a cockroach cockroach in such a organisms they identify the which one the x x and x0 type of the sex determination when you come to the the plants is the diasporia diasporia and valisneria such a plants exhibiting of a xx and x0 type of the sex determination here the females are it is in a homogametic condition the males are heterogametic in condition the chromosomal complement of the females is autosomes plus x chromosomes are present which one this is called as the females the chromosomal complement of a males is the heterogametic condition autosomes plus x chromosome and remaining 50 percent of the sperm cells Contain of a only autosomes absence of the allosome here yeah. depending upon the sperm carrying of the x or the absence of the sperms containing of the sex chromosome the establishment of the sex of an individual here yeah. the sperm carrying of the x allosome or sex chromosome results in the formation of the autosomes plus xx develops into a female individual if the sperm carrying of the only autosome does not contain the allosome such a sperm when fertilizes with the x cell results in the development of a autosomes plus x0 that is called as the the male individual is forming that is depending upon the the presence or absence of the sex chromosome decides the sex of an individual if the sex chromosome is present develops into the female individual if the sex chromosome is absent it will develops into the, the male individual okay 
Well, move on to the, the third one is called as the ZW and ZZ type of the sex determination. In this type of the sex determination commonly observed in the birds and even in the reptiles This type of the sex determination commonly observed in the birds, reptiles and even in the fishes and butterflies. Fishes and butterflies. When come to the, the plants, here this type of the sex determination commonly observed in the, the fragilia. The plant is called in the fragilia. That means a strawberry. In such organisms, they can identify the ZW and Z, Z type of the sex determination. In the above two conditions, the females are homogametic, males are heterogametic. That means two types of the sperms are produced. But in this condition, the females are heterogametic, males are homogametic condition. The chromosomal complement in the females, in the females, 50% of the egg cells carrying of the autosomes plus Z type of the sex chromosomes and remaining 50% of the egg cells carrying of the autosomes plus W type of the sex, sex chromosome. In the males are homogametic, that is autosomes plus only Z type of the sex chromosomes are present. That means the females are decider of the or establishment of the sex. If the egg cell carrying of the Z type of the sex chromosome fertilizes with the male containing the sperm cell, development of the autosome stress ZZ that is called as the which one? ZZ means male is produces. Here the egg cell carrying of the W type of the sex chromosome fertilizes with the, the Z type of the sex chromosome of the sperm cell that is the autosomes plus ZW type is obtained. That is the, it is a female. Here, this is the, the type of the sex determination. Here, dear students, this is the compulsory question for the 3 marks or it may be the 5 marks question in the board examination. The question will be like this. Explain the sex determination with a suitable example. For any of these, you should explain for the three marks. To explain the sex determination means that it carries the two marks. Clear. These are the most common th types of the or three methods of the sex determination. Clear.